Hello YouTube, today I'll be making an overview of the application called Personal Budget. So this is a very clean and simple application which you use to basically see your expenses and see basically how your budget is working. So pretty much how it works is you add the transactions inside this list and then you categorize them. You add the month and the date and then the amount that you actually purchased it for. And then inside the budget you allocate certain amounts of money towards each category. So you can add your own categories. So here I did, for example, what I would do once I get $100 on YouTube, which I did on this month. So here I can allocate $100, say, for the month of August to spend the money that I got from YouTube. So on food, I'd spend $20 because I don't really have to live on food. Sports is $0 because anything would be too expensive. I could spend $5 on books, so maybe a small book or magazine. I could spend 29 and whatever on technology, etc, etc. And then under the actual tab, you can see what you're actually spending inside the transactions. So go over to the transactions, and I said that I'll spend $15 on an Android Play Store gift card. So if I really do do that, it'll appear under the technology tab. Budget, actual $15, and the difference is $14.99. So after you do that, you go over here, and here you can actually see a tally between the different months and how you're actually keeping your money. So this is the money over here. These are the different months. This is the budget, the actual, and the difference. So this would be your revenue plus or minus. So overall this application runs very very smoothly. I've seen no trouble. It's a very clean interface. It always says that iCloud is updating. Not sure how long it'll say that for. The icon is nice. Everything has a nice flat feel to it. There's no help or anything. But overall, this application is very nice. So maybe I'd like more features such as monthly, but also maybe yearly, because I may spend a certain amount of money every year, not necessarily every month. Maybe this depends on the age group towards what it's targeted. But anyways, overall this application is very, is very stable, it runs very well, it has a very clean interface, and overall it's a very enjoyable experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.